On this 4th of July, many people want you to believe that celebrating America just means waving the flag or standing for the national anthem or shouting America first. But that's not what real patriotism is. Real patriotism means sacrificing to keep America going. It means paying taxes proportional to your wealth. I'm talking to you, Jeff Bezos, and you, Elon Musk. It means paying your workers a living wage so they can thrive. I'm talking to you, Walmart, and you, McDonald's. It means fully reckoning with how racial oppression and white supremacy have shaped this nation, not whitewashing our history and ignoring racism's continuing legacy. I want to break! I'm talking to you, lawmakers, trying to prevent students from learning the role race has played in our history. Real patriotism means protecting American democracy and our form of government, not trying to overturn an election that's been upheld by 60 federal courts and the Supreme Court, or seeking to suppress the voting rights of people of color. I'm talking to you, members of Congress, who refuse to certify the 2020 election, and to you, state legislators, advancing nearly 400 voter suppression bills. And you, former guy. Real patriotism means not flooding our politics with big money so the voices of the people can be heard. I'm talking to you, Charles Koch, and you, Michael Bloomberg. And it means putting the interests of our country over partisanship, Mitch McConnell. 100% of my focus is on stopping this new administration. Finally, real patriotism means using your position of power in the media to inform and educate the public rather than weaponize lies and promote extremism to get more clicks and views. I'm talking to you, Mark Zuckerberg, and you, Rupert Murdoch. On this 4th of July, let's commit to real patriotism. It's not easy, but it's the necessary hard work we must undertake to make this country better for everyone.